In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Sony's solution for fixing stick drift on the PS5 DualSense controller. Now what you're looking at are the individual replacement thumbstick modules for the DualSense Edge controller, and these can actually be purchased completely separate in the event that one of your Joy-Cons begins to wear out or develop stick drift. And just like I said in my original video about the DualSense Edge, of all the new features that were added to this controller, the replaceable thumbstick modules are in fact the biggest game changer, because in Instead of replacing your DualSense whenever the thumbsticks wear out, you can simply replace the thumbsticks themselves for a third of the price. So in this video, I'm going to unbox one of these new Joy-Con modules to show you what's inside and basically what the process looks like to replace a thumbstick on the DualSense Edge. Now starting off with the replacement part itself, the price for one of these modules is 20 US dollars, which means that if something were to happen with one of your thumbsticks, then worst case scenario, you're only coming out of pocket 20 bucks. Now it would have been nice if Sony implemented something similar for the standard DualSense, however this probably would have made the original controller a lot more expensive. But inside of the box you get one thumbstick module as well as the user guide for installation. Now one very important thing to note is that the replacement thumbstick module does not come with any of the alternate thumbstick caps like you get with the purchase of a DualSense Edge. A replacement module only comes with the standard attachment in which case you would need to pop it off and switch it out for the one you already have if you're someone who prefers the special convex design. And while these extra caps do come standard when you buy the DualSense Edge, you can always purchase them separately if one gets lost. Now in order to replace the stick module, you need to first make sure your DualSense Edge is turned off and then turn it over and locate the release latch for removing the front cover. Next you're going to lift up on the release lever for the module that needs to be replaced and carefully slide it out. And once the old thumbstick has been removed, we can take our new thumbstick module and slide it in place of the previous one. One. Now we're going to lower the release lever to secure the new thumbstick in place. And if you're like me and prefer the alternate convex caps, then you can take the one you already have and put it in place on the new one. Lastly, we're going to reattach the front cover by pressing it in place until it clicks. And that's it. For just $20, we were able to replace a thumbstick on the DualSense Edge instead of spending $60 on a whole new standard DualSense controller. If you found this video useful or at least interesting, make sure to leave a like rating, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you